Who would be crazy enough to challenge Mike Tyson? How about the 6 foot 5, 330 pound ex football player, mixed martial artist, and kickboxer Bob Sapp? Let's check out Sapp's infamous Mike Tyson call out. Well, this is a scene typical of Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson wanted to challenge me. And we fight with the Mark the Queen Bird. And talk about why the fight never went down. But first, don't forget to subscribe below. I'm guessing you know who Mike Tyson is. The youngest heavyweight of all time, Kid Dynamite, trained by Customato. Sure, he's had his share of legal troubles and controversy, but Tyson kept his cool the night he was called out by kickboxing star Bob Sapp. Who is Bob Sapp? He's sort of an MMA jack of all trades. Sapp fought in K1 for a long time and gained a huge following in Japan. Some sports analysts labeled him as a sideshow or big freak sensation and argued he was not a legitimate combat athlete, but his track record and respect among fellow fighters proves otherwise. Sapp had a phenomenal figure and unique bull rushing style that devastated his opponents. Then again, so did Iron Mike. There's no arguing that both these guys have extensive highlight reels filled with excellent displays of athleticism, heart, and most of all, brutal knockouts. But let's get to it. The incident between Sapp and Tyson occurred at a K1 World Grand Prix at the Mirage Center back in 2003, when Mike Tyson stepped into the ring after Sapp had landed a controversial knockout win over Kimo Leopoldo. Sapp had called out Tyson, and Tyson responded by storming the mat. As soon as Tyson stepped through the ropes, Sapp charged at him and threw a wide swing. It didn't land, and people quickly gathered between the two fighters to separate them both. From there, some banter was exchanged, but it was clear that Mike Tyson had control of the ring and the crowd. If you watch the video closely, you will see one reporter begin to ask Bob Sapp a question, but once Tyson speaks, the attention of the arena shifts his way. Even Bob the Beast Sapp stops to listen to what Tyson has to say. While Sapp spat some witty insults back at Tyson, Tyson accepted Sapp's challenge and even praised Sapp for his size and power. At the same time, Tyson did not back down and instead wore a mocking smile as Sapp's insults continued. Listen up here. Hey! They may call you Kid Dynamite. You mess with me, I'll put your fuse out. Sign the contract, big boy. Sign the contract. <laughs> Tyson was much calmer and more collected than we'd seen him in the past. You could imagine things would have gone differently if the same incident occurred 10 years earlier. Yeah, you remember the Holyfield fight, right? Say no more. So Mike left the ring quietly. In his wake, the announcers seemed more interested in the possible fight between Tyson and Sapp than Sapp's subsequent performance against Kim Leopoldo. Unfortunately, the fight between these two giants never went down. That night, Tyson had initially agreed to fight Sapp under Marquis of Queensberry rules to make it happen. He was pretty much saying he'd be up for boxing Sapp under standard sanctioned boxing rules and regulations. Later, he went on to clarify that he believed Sapp was big and strong, but under boxing rules, he could handle him with ease. At first, the plan was to have the fight in Japan, where it would be most profitable due to Sapp's large array of fans, but that plan fell through because of Tyson's travel restraints as a convicted felon. Over the following 10 years, Sapp lost 10 consecutive fights, eventually landing his first win in over a decade by decision in 2018. Tyson, on the other hand, had stepped out of the fight game, he has recently got into the marijuana business, as you may have heard, and also has a podcast titled Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson, where he smokes a lot of weed and has deep conversations with celebrities and athletes. Crazy, I know. Tyson reflects on the years prior to his podcast, claiming he was doing bad, using drugs, and unhappy with his physical state. Right around when he decided it was time to change his life, he was again approached by his brother-in-law about the sap fight. Tyson initially refused, but eventually reconsidered his return to the ring. One thing led to another, and in the end, Tyson ended up signing on to fight Roy Jones Jr. instead of Bob Sapp. Regardless, it is good to see Iron Mike successful and back in shape. Sapp ain't doing too bad himself, he starred in movies, did a real sports episode with Brian Gumble, and even fought under Ryzen in Japan just a few years ago. Still, can you help but wonder what would have happened if a fight between these two went down? Who do you think would win? Bob the Beast Sapp? Or Iron Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet.